So uh, I'm going to go through here. I'm going to show you how to upload to your DeviantArt page and to our group. So the first thing is this. You've already made your page. You've gone ahead and you've logged in. If you haven't already, you want to become a member of our group. So that's art-edu.deviantart.com. Okay. When you get there, there's going to be a link right about here that says join this group, and it's going to ask you to go ahead and click that. Then it's going to say submit request. You don't have to add in any kind of paragraph or anything like that. Um, once that's done, I can go through and uh, approve you for the group, which will allow you to submit things. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so here's your page back on our home profile page. Um, before we do any kind of submission, if you haven't already, do me a favor. Put your mouse right over top of the About section. Go ahead and click on that. You'll see a little pencil. That means Edit. You can click on that. And then in your Real Name section, if you would, at least, at least put your last name. That helps me whenever it comes to uh, grading. So if you just put in Real Name, your last name, and save it. That way I can see who the heck you are so I can make sure to give you the grades. So, okay, moving on. So up in the top center, it says Submit, Submit Art. Okay, it's going to take you to this page here with this big blue box. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to grab any old piece of artwork that I have lying around here. Let's see, I'll grab, uh, I'll grab this guy. It looks pretty cool. All right, now this is a painting, obviously. Uh, for some of you guys who are in my uh, 2D design kind of foundations class, um, everything that we do is going to be kind of painting or drawing, kind of a traditional art. Uh, if you're in graphic design or DMEA, then it's going to be more digital arts, right? So. I've got myself a painting here. It's going to ask me about, does it contain mature content? I'm going to say, no, there are no naked people here. Uh, of course, if there were, and that happens sometimes, it's going to ask you to be specific. But again, for this class, always no. Next, depending on the size of your picture, it's going to try and condense it down for you. But you always want to make sure that original is selected. OK, moving down. Then it puts the file name as the title of the piece of artwork. Assuming you do not want that, uh, you are feel free to uh, go ahead and rename it whatever the heck you want to. Uh, it can be something deep and, and really metaphysical, or it could be just what it is. So like painting of lady face. Perfect. OK. It's very artistic. Underneath that, I can add in a comment if I want to. Um, you don't have to. So yeah, I'm just going to get rid of that. OK, moving down. Next up are my tags. So these are your literal hashtags. So if you want your artwork to be searched, uh, I could do hashtag painting. I could do hashtag, you know, whatever. OK, so put in your hashtags if you want it to be searched. Finally, DeviantArt is kind of a jerk about this. They want you to select the category for your artwork. So if you're in my 2D Foundations class, everything is going to be traditional art. If you're in DMEA or graphic design, everything is going to be digital art. In my case, it's a painting, so I'm going to do traditional art. Now it's going to ask you what kind of traditional art. So in my case, I painted it. Some of yours might be drawings or, I don't know what, animations. We're going to do animation later on. Printmaking, sculpture, if you're in my sculpture class, a whole bunch of different things going on. So I'm going to do painting. It's going to ask you, OK, it's traditional art. It's a painting. What's it a painting of? And then again, in my case, I've got people. There's a picture of a person. OK. And that's it. I'm going to go down here, submit now. OK, so here it is. It is live online. The whole world can see it, OK? But our class can't see it yet. So I'm going to scrub, scrub on down here. So again, I'm looking at my art, scrubbing on down. And there, it says featured in groups. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now, the first time that you do this, you won't see. Mine already has it kind of pulled up, ready to go. But the first time you do this, you need to type in the name of our group, ART-EDU. And check it. Now, sometimes it'll block you. It'll say, you are not allowed. And if you're a member of the group, that can be really annoying because you always want to click on Favorites, then the group, and then Submit. That's it. So not in Gallery, but Favorites, then the group, Featured is fine, and then Submit. And that's it. Done. If you get crazy confused, mixed up, backwards, if you don't know what's going on, go over to our classes page, art-edu.dbnart.com. And as long as your picture is in this folder right here, the featured folder, and you're welcome to look at it. There's a whole bunch of other projects and pictures here going on. But as long as your picture is in here, then I'll go through and grade it, and then I'll move it to its appropriate folder so that it can be kept here forever and ever and ever. Because in essence, what we're making is a digital portfolio. So maybe by your senior year, if you want to go and apply for a college or something, instead of having to hunt down all those projects that you did, they're already here, sitting and waiting for you. OK? All right, 
So that's how you upload to DeviantArt and to the group. So that's it. See you soon.